guys or girls, do you go to the grocery stores and then choose plastic over paper bags? Just so that you can reuse oh, okay. these so as trash unnecessary. bags. So that you can reuse these as trash bags, do you? Yeah. And do you tie totally them do. or do you just like shove them in the drawer? I tie them just like this. Me too. <laughs> and then you have a whole drawer just full of those, right? I know. <laughs> also, you don't want the TV remote to feel cold so that you wrap it with... Wait. That's not how they do it. That's more hygiene. <laughs> but if your answers were yes, that means you're turning into your mom. Congratulations! <laughs> so when I was little, I was like, Mom, I never want to become like you. I'm never going to do the things that you do and annoy my future child. But <laughs> one day you wake up and you're like, Oh my God, I'm actually becoming my mom. So these are a couple of the things that me and Mia found out how we're like becoming our mother. <laughs> First for me, I become more money conscious. Like my answer to almost every question would be like, how much is it? No, too expensive. That's like my mom. I'm really? like, no, I become like you, mom. What is this? I'm pretty like easy with money. Not like that. <laughs> I mean, I don't spray it everywhere, but like if I see something, then I'll kind of justify it, but still end up buying it anyway. <laughs> if you think and then about regret it, it later. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like my mom does that too. Moms are like different in this case. Yeah, and they produce two different people. <laughs> So obviously your parents and your mom has made you the woman you become today. And I feel like I've taken that on in how I look to my little sister and how, you know, I want her to become and grow up. Mom was more lenient with me. Like she would only step in if I do something really wrong. <laughs> and <laughs> she would never really be the enforcer. So now I feel like it's more tough love. You learn through experience. The concept of tough love to me is kind of hard to grasp really? at first. Yeah, because my mom was like the strict one and my dad was the more lenient one. You know, when we were little, when we were eating or something, my dad would be like, oh, if you're too full, just don't eat it. It's okay, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then my mom would just like, no, you cannot waste like even a single grain of rice. But then sometimes you just have to let loose and then, like you said, tough love. Yeah. Hoarding! Oh my god, <laughs> yes! Amen to that! <laughs> you would hoard everything, like to go containers, to go cups, Especially like. Especially the Chinese yeah. containers. Even when they're like super greasy, we end up washing them and <laughs> putting do. them away. <laughs> Why? They're so <laughs> nasty. It can be good, like it can be like practical. Mm. What? Your t shirt is torn? Give it to me so I can use it to clean my kitchen. <laughs> so you don't, you don't waste that is paper towels. Super efficiency. Efficiency level Asian. Asian. <laughs> yeah, my mom like keeps all these boxes under her bed. So it's pretty much like a store. There's like new untouched items still in its packaging, but also empty boxes that she keeps for later. She's like, I got it ages ago, which I know is a lie. <laughs> Lies. I think that's more the point. <laughs> The fourth one I realize is cooking and cleaning. I realize when I cook, I like to clean along the way. Well, most of the time. <laughs> like my mom will always like finish cooking the meal and clean the dishes before she even starts eating. Otherwise she's like, I feel too uncomfortable. And I feel like now I've taken on that. I can't stand to look at the mess over the kitchen mm. bench and it just makes me like, <laughs> Like I know exactly what you mean, but this is something that I didn't adopt until recently, even though I've lived away from my family for so long. I used to be like so lazy, guys. I just don't want to do cleaning. I hate it. It's... It makes me distraught seeing a sink full of just like piled dishes. I'm like, ah! You're always prepared for anything, like literally anything. If you know me, like I have a stack of napkins everywhere. Guys, pretty sure this is toilet paper. <laughs> but you get the point across. <laughs> like if you're coughing, you have this, or if you like sneeze a little bit, you have this, or if you spill something over. You know what? That's why people carry handy. handkerchiefs in case anything happens, in case you need to blow your nose, wipe something, in case a woman cries, they'll just like, you know, hand over a handkerchief. Anyway. I'm more like practical in this way. See, again, 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 the, again. <laughs> again, the keyword is practical, and you're always ready for anything. I like can't rainy say that days. I am. 
my mom, every time she came out of the shower, she would like look in the mirror and pop all her pimples and look at her skin for about like an hour. I'm sorry I exposed you, mom. So now I realize when I come out of the shower, I'm always like looking for the next victim on my face. Like, <laughs> it's, gotta take advantage yeah, of this. It makes it so easy to just like there's so much satisfaction in it when you see that little grain of rice come out. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> so those are just the random little habits that we think we've picked up from our mothers, mm -hmm. good or bad. I wonder if like guys also have the same experience. Like, do yeah. guys turn into your dads? dads? Like, we'd love to hear if you guys have any of these habits that you've picked up from your parents or whatnot. Tell us everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that concludes our episode today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys really soon. Bye! Bye.